Saturday, October 22nd, Pitt State football on the road at Central Missouri. Gorillas looking to remain undefeated on the season with a 6-0 record in conference games so far. Kicking things off early in the first quarter, after a pair of three and outs by each team, Gorillas have the ball. Zach Dickey hands it off up the middle to Bryston Wilson. Wilson turns on the speed. He's got a couple of mules in pursuit, but he's going to go. Chase McCoy would tack on the extra point after the score, and Gorillas lead it 7-0 early in the game. Later in the first half, Pitt State set up with a third and goal on the UCM two-yard line, and Zach Dickey's going to keep it himself for the score. That's his ninth rushing touchdown of the year. Gorillas lead it 14-3, and the Mule is not happy. Still first half, Gorillas now up 17-3 after a Chase McCoy field goal. Zach Dickey connects with Eric Love out of the backfield. He's going to take it in for the score, and Gorillas lead it 24-3 heading into halftime. Third quarter, score now 24 to 10. Gorillas backed up in their own territory, and Dickey finds his wideout John Thomas for a sensational 70-yard play. I guess somebody had bailed back into coverage, and so there was somebody who wasn't supposed to be there and was there, and so I got hit, I don't know about how many guys, and um, and so luckily I stayed on my feet, and uh, I started running. I saw uh, Andrew Castaneda and John Brown there uh, from my blocks there before I got into the end zone, and so made one little cut back, and John Brown's there again blocking somebody and scored. Dickey would find Pater once again in the fourth quarter, laying out to find the pylon, his second rushing score of the day, and Gorillas get to enjoy the ride back to Pittsburgh. Final score 38-17, Gorillas now 8-0, the lone undefeated team in the conference, and heading into their bye week with some momentum. Well, yeah, well, biggest thing, they beat us last year, so we definitely wanted to fix that and get things rolling again with this uh, with this series. But uh, I thought we played well for the most part, and now we got a bye and then Washburn. That's going to be a huge game for us back home, and we're looking forward to it. It's, it's an encouraging feeling, but at the same time, we got to be, we got to stay humble. Uh, we got Washburn coming up in two weeks, and uh, they're a great team, and so we know that we got to we got to go to work. And uh, we got two weeks to prepare for them since we have, we have that bye week, and so, like I said, we just got to stay humble, uh, stay hungry, and go after Washburn. Well, this was a huge victory for us. You know, we felt like Central was a very good team. They had their chances to beat uh, Northwest Missouri and, and uh, boy, going on the road and getting this win and then be able to come back and play in Pitt for the last two weeks of the year. Uh, it was absolutely a huge victory for us. And uh, we've got an off week, which hopefully we'll get a couple guys back uh, during that time. And so uh, really proud of our players and coaches. The Gorillas do have next week off before hosting conference foe Washburn in Kearney Smith Stadium on November 5th with kickoff being set for 2 p.m.